Hey everyone, it's your boy Graphic back with another video and today we're going to look at some solo random dungeons content. We're going to look for kills and we're also going to try to do some PvE as well. Um, we do try to get a tier 6 dungeon map later on and we'll kind of go over whether I think it's worth it or not trying that in a solo uh, random dungeon. Uh, right here you're going to see that I am going for a boss and all of a sudden a hostile appears. So. We have ourselves a fight coming soon, um, and I don't realize it yet. Uh, I just used my Hellion shoes, and I have my Demon Cape down on the, you know, the boss. And I still haven't realized it. I'm about 50% health. I just now realize it. Um, I decide I'm going to overcharge and pop my food. And then I'm trying to change to the stun run, get my PvP builds or setup going. Uh, but I actually do a pretty massive amount of damage here, get my Hellion shoes going, and then pop my W and he runs right into my big burst. Um, that's a lot of damage I just laid out with not even my PvP uh, you know, abilities or skill set. So that was a big kill. We got some T61 and 6.0 uh, gear. Um, he was running a 4-2 blood letter. He should have been able to execute me, no doubt. Um, he just got really, really outplayed there. So, you know, you got to be aware because you can outplay people non-stop in these dungeons. You're getting fair one-on-one -on -one fights most of the time. I know there's a lot of you guys that probably had to deal with, you know, eight versus one by this time. Um, I know, I know that's probably got to be a pain in the ass, but you occasionally, uh, will get that. And, but most of the time you're going to get a fair fight like that, a one V one where you actually have potential to outplay. I was running probably five, one gear, four, three gear, four, two gear, whatever. And I just kind of destroyed him and he was running six, one gear. So it's very possible to, um, you know, outplay. And here we're going to actually look up what a dungeon map costs. So you're going to see that tier four and tier five random solo dungeons actually cost about the exact same which is pretty shocking um, that they cost the exact same pretty much. But then you're going to look at tier 6, costs a little more. Tier 7 costs the most out of all of them actually. And tier 8 costs a little bit less. So if you're going to try this, I would suggest trying a tier 8 because honestly tier 7 is um, a lot, way too expensive. Um, so I actually got a tier 6 map. I clicked it and it shows you exactly where to go. So it says Wire Force, which I've been doing Dungeons and Wire Force just for the hell of it anyway because I'm looking for PvP content. So, you know, this works out for me. I decided to head over there real quick, um, and it, you know it's going to be on the map. I'm going to show you guys real quick a couple times uh, what it's really showing me. It's showing me kind of a little dungeon, little bit by that exit. So I'm heading over to that area, um, and as we get over there, I will say that the tier six dungeon map costed about what 85k, and the you know the tier eight costed what 80k. So really. Or not 80k, it costs about, what, 95k? I don't even remember. But basically, they were pretty similar in cost, which is pretty and crazy uh, when you think about it. Um, right now, it's probably going on because there's probably so many people trying to buy those T8 maps just to try them out because, you know, it's a first-time thing. I don't know if there is, like, 8.1 and, uh, you know, like, 8.2 maps like there is with random group dungeons. I haven't actually checked that. I'm going to have to check that out, and you guys might have to let me know in the comments below. Uh, but we're going to head over to this dungeon that we have set up for us. Um, you know, and I, I think about 50%, maybe a little bit more than 50% of these dungeons in Wire Forest are usually contested by somebody or you get into a fight. So the, the bat was kind of on me there, so I had to reposition myself, make sure that aggro uh, kind of ran away from me. Um, as we get in here, I do check to make sure I'm recording. Uh, I had that mistake way too many times. We get to the end of the boss, and I was just, you know, I went, I flew through the mobs and everything. Uh, it's about the same fame, the same silver. Uh, I got no drops from the mobs or anything. So you're not going to get anything bonus there, um, silver wise. So you're not going to make up much of your money yet. Uh, we're going to have to see with this boss, you're going to be able to see the kind of the difficulty change between tier six um, and a tier six dungeon map. Uh, when you buy it and use it. So this is a blue boss, a standard blue boss from a T6 map. Um, this boss summons a little skeleton warrior kind of deal on the you know, side of him. And he doesn't really do anything too special. So it's not a big deal. Uh, it will take a little bit to kill him here. Um, but you got to remember, I am running a Soul Scythe build. I got about 45 mastery on it. Um, and barely any spec because it's an artifact quarter staff. So you got to re realize that, you know, I just got my Grandmaster Reaver, so I could just start killing T7 mobs uh, efficiently, which is absolutely crazy um, how long I, you know, I didn't realize how long it actually took for me to get there the first time. So I'm still still trotting around uh, trying to get there. 
but I'm in no rush because I'm able to do a content like this now and it's just making me happy. So uh, I love the solo random dungeons update and it's a lot of fun for me. So 5,000 fame is what you're going to get there, which is a big bonus uh, compared to usually probably three or 4,000. Uh, but right here, you're going to see that I got about maybe 20K in that, in that uh, chest. So really nothing special at T6. Um, random dungeon, solo dungeon is not going to be worth it at this moment probably. Um, if you want to do, uh, you know, T61 or, you know, they call it a 6-1 because it's a map. But if you want to do a dungeon uh, like that or get a map, you can try it. It's no big deal because you're going to get a little bit more fame. Um, but for the most part, what I recognized was that you're not going to get much out of it. It's probably not worth the fame uh, or not the fame, but the, the amount of silver you have to pay right now. In about two weeks, I'm sure that price will drop a lot, a lot, a lot. So in two weeks, if you guys are still looking to try it, uh, you know, solo dungeon map, I suggest, highly suggest trying it because it's going to probably be 40, 50 K at that point in time. So right now it's a little overpriced because everyone's trying them out. Um, but as we run through this, I noticed that, you know, the, there's no mobs. So right here, I decide to eat. I know, um, I changed my, I believe I changed my ability to stun run already if I didn't, but Basically, I'm speeding this up for you guys as we try to run and find the other player. Right here, I'm thinking maybe he uh, stopped, you know, killing the mobs because he just got that boss and stopped there. Thinking he maybe poured it out early. And you're right there. You saw that I brought the stun run out. Or no, I didn't bring the stun run out. So I don't have my ability changed yet, actually. But that's because I see no zero, or I see zero hostiles. So I'm not really in a threat right now. Um, I believe I do die here, actually, just by doing something stupid. Let's see here. Not, I'm not dead yet, but um, these mobs are pretty dang strong. You guys know these mobs. Those are the strong mobs right there. Uh, but we kill it, and we continue to move on as we get some spec leveled up. Uh, so we're running through. Uh, this is the Soul Scythe one-shot build that I am running. Um, but I need to change my ability to the stun run to really make it work. So right here, I'm still clearing mobs thinking, you know, he's not in the area. Uh, finally, I get up to this area right here. And I see these two skeletons, so I'm just killing these skeletons. We have no signs of people yet uh, or anybody here yet because we only, um, you know, saw one boss gun. So we actually thought maybe that they disappeared. Right there, I see that, you know, he's there. So right here, I'm just trying to run back. Maybe he didn't see me or maybe I can run back and then try to switch to hostile out of the, um, you know, in the in the area he can't really see me so he doesn't you know a out and just leave the dungeon so i'm trying to get another fight basically i'm trying to get another pvp fight uh he's running 4.1 galatines which are worth you know a pretty penny um so i am trying to switch to hostile right now uh and he's actually just letting me do it and i don't know if he doesn't know he can run away or what the what the case is i definitely think he just wanted to fight which is fine by me i'm all up for that so right here i think he's expecting me to jump on him right away so he pops his little shield there, and uh, at this point, I'm just walking away. There's no point in me attacking until he attacks me, uh, and then it's away, and I pop my Hellion Shoes, uh, pop my W, um, and get the lava on the ground from the Demon Cape, pop my Stalker. Uh, I get basically all my damage out. What I did wrong there is use my poison way too late, so the resistances didn't go down uh, at the start of my burst. So I probably would have one-shotted him, to be honest, because he didn't get his, um, what is it called, the Mega, or whatever you call it out right away so you know that's why we got the kill um a little bit after instead of the one shot but he had just basically runes and he probably didn't have much else uh drop for him so that's what happened there a little smackdown happened and uh i go on to see that there's actually no more um nothing else in this dungeon so i actually end up hanging out and running into carleon and on my way to Carleon, I see a portal on the very edge of this side over here. It looks like I'm still looking for it. There we go. So I found this portal, um, and you're going to notice a bug that's been happening to a lot of people. Uh, there's two guys in there, and if I hit that portal, I actually can't get out right away. So I actually tried running. Um, my, my idea when I was running was to you know, get away from them a little bit and then come back when my skill or abilities are up. I should have stayed at the portal and not moved. I don't know if it would have made too big of a difference, but basically I'm of half health and I'm just getting my abilities up. So right here, I'm just saying, you know, what, I'm going to try for one kill. Uh, so I get the throw on the poison on the other side of the firewall and he's actually going to die. So I get 15 K fame or 14.5 K fame. Uh, I roll into that guy. This guy's a tank. So I knew I wasn't going to probably, you know, win this. He is running a Grove keeper too, which is just rough for me. 
Um, but you know what? I killed one of his guys, so I'm fine at that. Getting a kill on one of these douchebags that are kind of just sitting in there. You got to hate these guys that are abusing that bug right now that's just sitting in the dungeons waiting for people. But, you know, you kind of also have to expect it. It was a dungeon right outside of Carleon. So just be careful on what you guys are doing. Make sure you guys aren't running right outside of Carly or yeah, right outside of any place and going straight into a dungeon because they might be sitting in there. And until that bug gets patched, good luck. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you next time.